hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create form view in odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to set default filters this check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen odoo 1718 development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right so let's back to our main topic how to create form view right we already discussed this one but let's see in the deep right so let me refresh the screen you can see right this is the default filter applied here while i click to this student menu so this is the topic i already covered in our last session in this session we will see this part so here you can see uh, this is the list view right but here we will also create a form view for this model the hobby model so for that we can go to the student views and hobby view.xml file so you can see here we have a list view we have a windows action and the menu that's it right there is no any form view is available so here for example we can use record we can use id model then after one two and three then after i hear iruy.view wb dot hobby form view simple we need to use here the name field wb dot hobby dot form dot view here we have to use the model which model it is so this is the wb dot hobby model right and simple here we have to use arch architecture and the type is the xml here this is the basic syntax to create any kind of views right not only the form view but let's say list view search view calendar view right we already talked about list view and the search view right so you already aware about this basic syntax now here we have to use form right and inside the form we have to mention the field name like this and that's it after this form view we must have to register in this view underscore mod so after list view we can use the form okay one more thing is here you can see we have added as a editable here right so let me uncomment i'm just using as a list view okay simple and one more thing is we must have to upgrade the module so for that I'm trying to upgrade from this PyCharm. In case you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm, please check editor level playlist. Now here, once I'll refresh the screen, right? Once I click here, and you can see it will open the form view, right? And you can see here like this. One more thing is, once you create this form view, right? So actually, you are not creating a view because view part created by the Odoo itself okay they have like some form components the controller and rendered stuff right which is available in the web module so we are just creating just a record only and based on our record it will try to parse this xml and it will convert into the html readable format like this way okay so actually we are not trying to create any kind of views actually so you can see here in the tactical in the view and once i will search here you can see this is the simple record right you can see here you can see the name the form we mentioned right the this is the external id which we added as an id right and from which module student module so like this way we are just trying to create records and from this module
web, static, src, and the views. From here, you can see this form, right? So this form view, it will perform the operations. Parsing the XML records which we created, right? And then after it will display the beautiful way in the front end side. So if your question is how backend is working, then you can just explore this form view. Then after this render, the controller, the compiler and the architecture, right? like this these files not only this one but the xml file also you can see hello okay let's back to our main topic right here so like this way we are trying to create the form view okay uh let's say not here in the student in the hobby and let's say like this right now you can see it's a reading but without label name why because like here we need to provide a one single group one single group means it is treat as a specific div tag okay so that is the main purpose of this group well, I'm just giving you the basic idea what it is and what is the purpose. In our upcoming session, I'm going to show you in detail. See, now you can see it's available in the full screen. You can see here like this, this one, right? With the label name. Now in our upcoming session, right? I'm going to show you how we can arrange this messy form view in a beautiful format using the group using the header right options okay so if you still have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session